morning, boys. See, you guys are starting to like this. Good boy. Good morning, Dilly. What's the news from the barnyard? What's the news? <laughs> it's the news you want a little scratches. Oh, that's my herd queen. We're back to another weekend, which means we've got so much to do again. And I know you guys hear me say it all the time, but the work never ends around the farm. There's always something that needs to be done someone that needs to be fed and i know you're probably thinking ashley those are josie's weathers why isn't josie doing her own chores josie actually is away on spring break with my husband's mom and dad and his sister and their two kids she's having a blast but that means that her weather feeding duties fall on me but that's not the only thing we're doing here today so some of you may know by now that I have a little bit of a new addiction and that's incubating my own eggs. The bad part about that is though, that I still have six chicks downstairs in a smaller brooder that keep flying out. They're waking us up at night, guys. We wake up in the middle of the night to cheep, 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 and it's because they're figuring out how to use their feathers to fly right out of that brooder. So why do I need to get that brooder empty? I may have a problem, guys. Watch this. Here we go again. Now there's nothing wrong with incubating your own eggs. It means I never have to go to Tractor Supply ever again to buy my own chicks. And I never have to wait again for my hens to go broody and do the work for me. If I need chicks early on, I can just grab a couple fertile eggs out of my coop, slap them in my Nurture Right 360, and set that sucker to go for 21 days. Well, now that it's full again, I kind of need to move those guys out and to get ready because they've already been incubating for over a week. And that means I only have two weeks to get ready. And while everybody thinks two weeks is a long way out, no, it's not, not on a farm. <laughs> not the springtime on a farm is that a long way out. We actually got out this week, or by we, I mean Mark, got out and got the tiller started and we've been tilling up more area of our backyard because you can't eat the grass. So we're going to be filling it up with more garden and there's gonna be a lot of changes with our garden coming in the next year or so. so there's been a lot of plans that are being drawn up, a lot of things that we're looking at saying, we need to make this easier, we need to bring things closer to our house, which would be a little bit of a clue. So when we say two weeks, that's not a long time. So I need to get my brooder out here ready for the chicks that are downstairs so I can keep that brooder open for the 24 eggs that I have in my incubator right now. 24. <laughs> and we'll see how our hatch rate goes this time, but let's go ahead and get these guys moved out. All right, time to get the chicks. <laughs> They've been escape artists. And I put the, um, the blanket over the top to keep them kind of calm while this is going on. And I don't know why our light's doing a party thing back there. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and get these guys out of here and get them in the barn. They're already trying to fly out, no. Get back in there, little. Get back in there. Oh, hello. Hello. It's okay. It's okay. Look at that little face. I need to catch you. It's okay. 
easy. It's okay. No, no. Ugh. Really? You okay? It's okay. There we go. Good boy. Oh, that was quite the adventure. There you go. And their little runny coop heating plate is on. How you guys like your new digs? A lot bigger, huh? Really, I would have liked to move these guys out a week after hatch, but a lot of our weather, and they're still trying to fly. And let me tell you what, guys, they're quick learners. So I'm gonna go ahead and close our brooder's top. So you can see our brooder is just made out of like this nice big box. And we took the box top, put hinges on it, then put some hardware cloth over the top. And there you go. But I wanted to move these guys out a week after hatch. But the bad thing about hatching out birds in Indiana, we're in zone 5B for gardening. And in early to mid-March, the weather is a complete toss-up. So these guys are going on two weeks old. So they should have been moved out last week. But we had an ice storm. We had all kinds of things going on. So I kind of am waiting until the weather can even out, which it is. And you guys saw they have quite a few feathers. So they're going to be able to self-regulate their own body heat here soon. So that's why I've been taking a while, but I guess I should go ahead and get their food and water in there. They probably appreciate that. So I know what you guys are thinking. Why did you just put that in there? Really, I find that it's easier to keep your water clean if you put something underneath of the water. Chickens, especially young chickens, are notorious for mudding up their water or kicking shavings into it. And this is just a really easy way that we found that kind of keeps that from happening which means less work on me, less wasted water all the way around, it's pretty good. So one of the things I really like about this heat plate is that it's adjustable. And I'm gonna put it down in the description below just in case you're interested, but it's really nice because all I have to do is turn it upside down and push these in and it's, it's nice because it says push. So I'm gonna push it in and I'm literally gonna just push the legs up. Because you guys have noticed, these chicks have grown. so. Sometimes they can't get under there and with them now being outside where they're probably more susceptible to um, weather dropping at night, I need to make sure that this is the right height so that they can all get under there and snuggle. And they don't need to be like right up against the heat plate. The heat radiates off the plate and their body temperatures all piled in a snuggle pile will help with that too. So I've always liked that, that it's just, it's really easy to use. And then these adjustable legs have these notches so you can kind of keep track of where you are on the other leg and then you can just push and mirror where you're at on your other leg, which I think is super helpful and makes it a lot easier to use. There we go. And you'll hear they'll kind of do that little click when they're in place. So now you guys can see that this is a much better height for these guys to get under. And look at them, they're so cute. I, I'm not even joking guys, best thing that I've ever bought for my chicks was a heating plate. But like I said, it's going to be down in the description below. It is the Amazon affiliate link. So go check that out and see if it would work for your setup. And as if it weren't enough to have that brooder outside full, which they've been out there for a full week now. Now look what I've got. I've got an incubator full of eggs. And we're almost one week away. So they've almost been in here for two weeks and I've been candling and they all look pretty good so far, but my candling skills are not as good as they probably should be, but hopefully with practice, um, we'll get a little bit better with that. But I think that's going to do it for us today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by dropping me a like, leaving me a comment and subscribing. But until next time, make sure that you're being safe out there and being kind to one another. Bye. why you attacked him in there, but that was not okay. Okay? I'm not pleased with you right now, and you know that.